Hi there, welcome to Plant Nation. I'm Min and today we're going to go on a plant tour of my home. This room here is the main room where I do my filming in and it has a south facing window and a west facing window as well. A lot of plants in this room are sun loving plants. They're also plants that thrive in bright indirect sunlight as well. So let's start. So let's have a look at the shelf right, uh, that you see right behind me. So this first plant I have here is an agalema. I have quite a few agalemas in this room. And this one here is called ivy and it's gorgeous. It has a white stem and beautiful coloration of the leaves. This plant here is called a ficus familia and it's a creeping type of plant. And the leaves are very small and has a white variegation in. It does come in a green form as well. And I found with this plant, it likes the soil to be moist. It never likes to be dried out. And also likes to have a little bit of higher humidity as well. This one here is called an Agalima peacock. And this one here is, has a new leaf coming out, which is very cute and I'm very excited about it. I also have two different types of Monsteria adesonii. This is called a monkey mask and it's more of a clumping type of Adesonii and this one here is more the viney type and both of them have some yellowing of the leaves and that's because I overwatered it because I'm an overwater just can't help watering them. This one here is called a um, Dracenia and um, it's very cute it's just a little tiny one I'm actually going to give this plant to my mum it's a propagation that I did and she's been wanting a, a Dracenia for quite a while but she didn't want a large one so I'm just going to give her this little cutie Philodendron micans. I absolutely adore this plant. It has heart shaped leaves. The back have a purplish color and it actually has a felby feel to the leaves. I have quite a few around the home and I plan to repot it into one big pot and make a big massive pot out of it. This room here has a lot of vining type of plants and this plant here is called a marble queen. It's a type of pothos and has these gorgeous yellowy white variegation through the leaves and you'll get more variegation on the leaves the more in bright indirect light the plant receives. This one here is called a philodendron heart leaf. It's just your standard green philodendron and I find this plant grows so fast. It grows like a weed. I can't believe how fast it's growing and it was growing during the winter season as well. These two are here are called golden pothos and it has a gorgeous coloration to the leaves. This one here is a cutting I received from a friend and it's producing a tiny new leaf out of it. So cute. These two here are called philodendron lemon and lime. They're very similar in looks compared to the neon pothos, except for these ones here, I find that the shape of the leaves are more heart shaped. And also I find that the, when you have a new leaf, it leaves kind of like a sheath around the actual leaves as well. This one here is called a Snow Queen and it has a lot of white variegation on the leaves. And because of the white variegation on the leaves, I find it's very sensitive to sunlight and it got a little bit burnt from the sun because it was too close to the window, so I have moved it back. I have more agalemas in this room. This pot actually has two different types of agalema. It has Spitfire and Pink Lady. And I tend to group my plants, well, the same species of plants near each other. That way it's easier for me to maintain and take care of my plants. The other agalemas I have are called Queen Ivy and also have Elaine and also have Red Valentine as well. This little cutie here is called a Pilea Pepper Moids and it used to be a rare plant a few years back but now it's very readily available in the nursery. This is a pup I received from my friend who gave me the Neon Pothos cutting and I find that this plant grows so quickly and it's so easy to take care of. It's about six months old when I received it. It was a tiny little pup that big and look at it now. Absolutely cute. I was so excited when I purchased this plant. This is called a Monstera Stanleyana and has this gorgeous white variegation on the leaves. I'm hoping as the plant matures, there's more going to be more white variegation on it. And it's actually producing two more leaves at the top here. So cute. I absolutely adore this plant. This is my favorite cordon line. It has these purplish pink 
coloration to the edges of the leaves, which I absolutely love. I actually don't know what type of cordon line this is. So if you happen to know what type it is, I'd love to read about it in the comment section down below. These two plants are called Skindapsis pictus. This one here is called an exotica. This one here was sold to me as an agerius, but I seriously doubt this one here is an agerius because the leaves seem to be too large. And also the silver pattern on the leaves, the agerius tends to have a spotty silvery pattern and these silvery pattern on the leaves are more solid. But what do you think? Do you think this one is an agerius? Uh, to me, that it looks exactly the same as my exotica. This crazy vining plant here is called a Monsteria split picana and I can't believe how much it's grown over winter. This long vine here, this is what it grew. It's unbelievably how fast this plant grows. What I'm going to do, I'm going to repot it later on into a wider pot and then also pin this vine down so it's just an easy way to propagate this plant without using water. This plant here is called a Monsteria deliciosa. I absolutely adore this plant and it's such a fast growing plant. And I love it because of the fenestration on the leaves, which um, I mean like the splits in the leaves. And as the plant becomes more mature, it will have more fenestrations on it. I am going to propagate this plant in the future. So if you don't want to miss out on future content about plants, please consider subscribing to the channel. I truly appreciate your support so I can create more planty content. And this plant here has grown so much for me over the winter. It actually produced three new leaves over the winter. I have heaps of crotons in this room. I know a lot of people don't like crotons because they have a tendency of dropping leaves very quickly if they're unhappy. Uh, I find that with croton, I love it because of the coloration on the leaves, especially this one here, which is called a croton captain kid. I just love the spots on the leaves. And I find that with crotons, once it's been moved in one area and it's happy never to move it again, just to try and prevent the leaves from dropping. So I have all different other types. I have things like Rena Croton, I have uh, Casablanca, I have Tamar, and there's just a whole heap of Crotons I have. Talking about sun loving plants, I have heaps of ficus in this room, and this is called a ficus elastica teneki. I also have lemon lime, I have also burgundy, I also have Audrey. Audrey is a little bit different because Audrey has a velvety feel to the leaves. And this Taniki one here is my favorite uh, Ficus Elastica because I love the creamy variegation on the leaves. And also when the leaves come out, it has a pinky color to the leaves as well. I forgot to mention I have also Ficus Lirata or otherwise known as Fiddle Leaf Vix. And it's absolutely gorgeous because the leaves look like petals. And this plant cost me $5. I have four of them in this room. And I popped it in this room because this is the room that receives the most sunlight. And these plants are very temperamental. They don't like to be moved. So I don't ever move my ficus. I just rotate it. These are my stringer hearts. This is the variegated version and this is the green version. These two pots, uh, the strings have actually tangled together and I didn't realize how fast they were growing. So I, by the time I actually realized there were two tangles, so I'm going to repot these two into a different pot and then propagate the strings. I love string of things and this one here is my variegated string of pearls and it's grown quite a lot over winter. And this one here is called string of turtles. Uh, do you like string of things? I also have things like string of beans, string of dolphins and a string of just normal pearls. And I tend to grow those outside uh, rather than in the home because my household is getting too full of plants at the moment. So if you do like string of things, I'd love to read about in the comment section down below what plant you enjoy. The final two plants I have in my home is called a Philodendron Brazil. And I'm not sure if it's a neon color of the leaf, that's the variegation or the green color of the leaf, but it's an absolutely gorgeous plant. I popped it in a pot and I have a totem in it. I plan to grow it upwards so the leaves tend to be larger. And the last plant I have, which is quite sentimental to myself, is called a golden pothos or devil's ivy. And it's a very common plant, but I absolutely adore it because it was gifted to me by my father about two years ago. And it's grown so much. 
it's actually outgrown its totem and I'm either going to extend that totem to grow it higher or I might just propagate the top parts of the vines. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, please hit the likes button and consider subscribing to the channel and the notification bell. I will be doing more plant tours of other areas of my home. So if you'd like to join me, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for coming along with me. I hope you enjoy the rest of the week and I'll catch you next time. Bye.